Hey guys, welcome to Twin Time. It's Zach here and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to make Tonghulu. So Tonghulu is a Chinese food. It's basically just candy coated fruit. It's only three ingredients, so let's start this. All you're gonna need is a thermometer and some sticks like this. You could use toothpicks, but I don't recommend it. It's a lot harder to do. So get some bigger ones like this. So that, this, and then you're just gonna need a bowl like this, a pan, and fruits, basically any fruit you want. So I'm gonna be using blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, and grapes today. And of course, sugar. So the first step is you're gonna get a bowl about this big, so a pretty big size. You could use basically any size. I recommend a little bigger though, cause it's just a little easier. And you're gonna fill it with a good amount of ice and make an ice bath. I got a lot of ice and fill it up with water. It should look like that. Once you got this, you're gonna put it like aside your stove somewhere. So I'm gonna be putting it right here. Next, you're gonna need a pan about this big. It can't be too small, so that's good. And before we continue, did any of you actually think I was Zach? Cause guess what? I'm actually Chris teaching you right now. Now into your pan, you're gonna put four cups of sugar and two cups of water. So some people also like to put two cups of sugar, one cup of water, so they could split it in half. Or if you want a huge, like if you wanna double it again, eight cups of sugar, four cups of water. It's really up to you, but I think the best is four cups, two cups of water. Two cups of water. We have this thing right here that can get me water. So that's one. That is two. After the two cups of water, four cups of sugar. Once you have four cups of sugar, two cups of water, you're gonna give it a little stir so it's not just sugar on the bottom. So just stir it about that much. And then no more stirring, you're gonna put it on the stove at medium high. So make sure you have your ice bath right here and make sure you have the fruit and wooden sticks ready because soon we're gonna be doing the next step, dipping it in here. You're gonna grab any fruit of your choice. So you it could you could practically do like a chip or anything you want, but it's supposed to be fruit. So I got a grape. You're just gonna shove it in about that much. I'm just getting mine ready before because mine isn't at 300 yet. It's probably not even at 200, but it's okay to be extra prepared. I'm just gonna start putting them on the sticks. And mine is currently at about 240 degrees. Now I'm gonna get a strawberry. There we go. Now I have two to dip in once it's ready. It's almost done and it looks like this. It's been a little bit, so I'm just gonna add some fresh ice to my ice bath. And make sure you wash your hands, guys, before any cooking. So. I'm gonna check the temperature, and let's see what it's at. So it looks like it's at about 2.30 right now, so still some more to go. It's currently almost at 2.90. It's now ready to dip, so I'm just gonna turn it off for now. Now, what, how you test it's ready is you're gonna grab an empty stick, you're gonna do this, twirl it like how you make it, twirl, there it is. You quickly dip it in ice. This is also how you do it. So you're gonna put it in for about five seconds, quickly take it out, dip it in ice, and twirl it around for about this long, then you take it out. Now, if you hear a crunch, that means it's ready. Uh, a little sticky, so it's basically ready, it's just I didn't keep it in the ice long enough. So let's do this. And to still keep it a little warm, you could not put it at like fully high, but you should keep it around like medium low, maybe medium, so it still keeps its heat. Now I'm gonna start off with the grape. So let's do this. What you're gonna do is put it in, twirl it around, twirl it, and bring it up like that. I love this part because you could you could put it on the bottom. Hear that? That means it's working because it's hard. So now that it's ready, there it is, guys. 
Look at that. Isn't that cool? Ready? I'll bite this one. Mmm. So good. I got this one, the blueberry one. Let me show you guys. That's it. Do that. Then do that and bring it over to the ice. Ooh, look at that big like string. That will sometimes happen. It's funny. See? And there you got it. Oh, that's cool. Now I'm gonna make a whole bunch of them and you have to tell me what one's the coolest. So I got this almost at medium, it's looking good. My ice and all this. Here's what I have so far. I have some cool combinations. If you're planning on making a lot, you should make sure your ice bath is usually pretty new. Like I might change it because it's been getting really yellow. Here's what it looks like now. I might need to make a new batch because it's getting burnt a little bit. Even though it's off, I guess it just slowly heats up or just the longer it's there, the more it burns. I'm not really sure, but it's pretty burnt, so I can't make any more until I make some more. And there we go. This one kind of fell off, but there's that one. This is probably my favorite one. It's a huge strawberry. It's like shiny. It's They're really sweet and really delicious too. Look at that. I also really like this one. Michael's gonna try one for me and he's gonna rate it, so choose one. Okay, <clears throat> I'll have this one. Okay, he picked the raspberries. Now let's see how you like it. Yeah, you could just eat it off the stick. <laughs> Crunchy. Mm. Good, lots of sugar. <laughs> It's really delicious. It's such a good snack. I recommend you guys should all try it. It's really easy to make too. For, <clears throat> for taste, eight and a half out of 10. <clears throat> and then the texture, also eight and a half. Good. Now Zach came in to get some. They're so good. It's just this crunchy. This is the best snack ever. Cool, right? Mm. Mm. I recommend the strawberries. They're so good. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make Tangulu. Thanks for watching, bye.